alright mate, things will get better. Don't look so sad. It's alright. Don't worry about it. Christmas will be here soon. Hello darkness, my old friend. Cad. What a fucking plum. Hello everybody, it's your boy Spikey here. So today we're going to be talking about is this bike, the Benelli TNT 125, good enough for first time learner riders? So first of all I want to start off saying the Benelli TNT 125 has been such a great bike to me. It has given me no problems whatsoever. In over a year of owning this bike now I have had no problems whatsoever and it is just a brilliant little machine. And for an experienced rider, it is still very, very fun to ride. But for somebody who's starting out on their journey to becoming a biker, is it a great first bike to have? I have owned two other 125s in my time of riding motorcycles, and I have to say, this one is definitely one of the best I have owned. My first ever 125 was a Suzuki Marauder 125, and the gears on that thing were hideous. Like, <laughs> They were so, so bad. And then after that, I got a Keyway RKV125, which also wasn't that great. But it's definitely not the perfect learner bike out there. There are definitely better bikes out there to start off on. There's just a couple of reasons why I think that is. First of all, there is no gear indicator. Usually on little 125s, you have a gear change indicator, which is very, very helpful for some somebody who's starting out riding bikes. It lets you know what gear you're in so you don't mess it up and you don't stall. And believe me, I used to do that so, so, so often when I first started riding. It's just one of those things, you know, but it really does help to have a gear indicator. Second of all, it's not a biggie, it's not a big issue, but there is this problem with the kickstand that if you go too tight around the corner, it will kick up at you and it will dig into the ground. Now, obviously as a first time rider I should hope you're not trying to go really tight around the bends but if you do there may be that slight issue there and it may give you a bit of a fright. Another one is the tyres. Definitely if it's your first time riding a bike you should get rid of these tyres. They are nylon crap and if you have no experience in riding in wet weather or anything like this where you've still got a wet surface you will need to change them to get better grip because they are some nasty ass tyres. And just then as I was riding I felt my back tyre give up on me. So it's definitely something you're going to want to change because it will give you a fright and you may end up on the floor. As for everything else, if you're thinking of getting this bike and it's your first ever bike, 100% get it. It's got the looks, it's got the power there if you really need it. It's great if you want to start stunting as well once you've got more experience. This is a bike you're going to have so much fun on. And honestly, if this was around when I was first starting out riding, I would literally kill for this bike. It is such a great little bike. It's so easy to use, it's so much fun, you know, it gets you where you need to go and the cost is very low as well, especially if you're a first time rider and just the price of this bike as well, it's just a little bit over £2,000 which, considering what you get, is nothing. <gasps> Bloody son! Hello! <laughs> hey yo! <laughs> yeah. It's a little Benelli, Benelli TNT 125. Did they tell you? Yep. Benelli. Yeah, yeah. Um, they got it taken over by the Chinese, didn't they? They got bought out by the Chinese and they're still working. I think Benelli owns like 50% of the company still. But yeah, no, they're great bikes. Fantastic little bikes. It's a 125. A little 125, yeah. 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 Sounds fantastic though. It's a lovely sounding bike, yeah. What's that, sorry? Good on fuel. Yeah, very good on fuel, yeah. Can I have sit on it if you want? I can sit on it. <laughs> How many gears? 
Uh, five, five, yeah. Five gears, goes about 73 miles per hour. Can I have a sit on Yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Six and a half, three goes, but you could lift it from the Italian jets, yeah, yeah. Brilliant, aren't they? I mean, this is very light as well, so it's... Uh, you okay there? <laughs> you okay there? Yeah. It's alright, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's a bit small. A bit small, yeah. That's to say, these bikes are very small, um, but they're very light. Well, that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Got to have this all the time now, yeah. Um, but it's so much fun and that's another thing you'll notice about this bike it gets a hell of a lot of attention like so much attention people will always come over to you if you stop by the road or something and they'll ask about it I've never ever known that to happen on any other bike oh, 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 oh. this is gonna be nice ah! I'm gonna get a wet back for sure can I go down here If you want something that's going to be fun to ride and very, very easy to ride, then definitely the Benelli TNT 125 is a good choice. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah, of course, there are better bikes out there on the market, I'm not going to lie, but this is a great little bike to start off with. But anyway, boys and girls, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. If you have any questions about a bike, anything at all, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button and do not forget to subscribe. If you haven't yet smashed that bell end yet, please smash that bell end because it'll notify you of any more videos coming up in the future. And I'll see you again very soon.